This world, as we know it, is changing faster than ever before, causing glaciers, an important source of our fresh water, to melt away, and catastrophic flooding, and droughts, and wildfires, and billions of dollars of damage. It's not just quantity. The quality of our water is also under threat. Algae taking over our lakes, mining waste ponds leaking into groundwater, boil water advisories across the continent. So how do we face unprecedented challenges crossing borders and affecting every aspect of life? We use the best of science across many disciplines to forecast what the future holds developing improved models to predict seasonal water flows and disasters, and to assess risks to water quality and human health, building the tools the world needs to manage water risks and protect people, communities, and economies. We're working with the public to translate our discoveries into helpful, made-to-measure solutions. The North is one of the most rapidly changing places on the planet. Um, warming is happening in the North two to three times faster than the global average. There's a, a great urgency to understand these changes, predict these changes, and help develop solutions. Canada's boreal is the largest biome we have in Canada. It's uh, more people are working, playing, and living in the boreal, and it's an important part of Canada's economy. When we look at recent disasters such as the Slave Lake wildfire in particular, the Fort McMurray wildfire, where 80,000 people were evacuated and 2,500 homes were destroyed, we really have to consider how we're going to create a more resilient interface between the wildland, which has floods, changing forests and fire, and protecting humans and resources. So maybe looking at the way in which our people have accumulated knowledge of our environment over a thousand years might help shape science. and. Water is the air, water is clouds, water is our bodies, and so we have a very different orientation towards water. I lead this Global Water Futures project called Mountain Water Futures, and the goal of our research in this program is to improve water security for the mountain regions of Western Canada and hopefully around the world. I think what our research is trying to do is similar to all Global Water Futures projects, is just improve Canada's ability to steward their water and know what it's going to be like for future generations. We're making tough choices simpler. The overall goal of Lake Futures is to deliver risk management solutions for Great Lakes and their watersheds. How different management options within the lakes and within their watersheds can be used to improve our water quality without impacting economic growth. Maintaining food security is a wicked problem. What we're really trying to understand is how climate and then landscape attributes, but also human decision making, how these all interact to influence water quantity and water quality, both now and in the future. We are working towards the development of technologies, innovative uh, new technologies to improve our measurement and monitoring of uh, Canada's water resources in the face of climate change. We're diagnosing and predicting change in cold regions. This environment is changing dramatically. This glacier over the last uh, three years has been melting faster than ever recorded and we've already had two and a half meters of ice melt this year. How we manage our land and wastewater directly affects our drinking water. We're using data mining and artificial intelligence to help water treatment plants purify our water. We have hundreds of partners like Environment, Climate Change Canada, Natural Resources Canada, Agriculture Canada, but also the provincial agencies the, uh, and some of the communities. Global Water Futures has simply tapped into this tremendous talent that's across the country. So it's, uh, it was the right place and the right time, and we're, uh, we're doing it. Global Water Futures. 
We're working together to prepare for the future of our water.